Good morning, people. You already know what I'm going to talk about. Jordan Matthews has left the Bird Gang. He's now part of Bill's Gang, which, um, it really sucks. I love Jordan Matthews. He was a great player, great person on and off the field, and um, he was very reliable for us. Was he consistent enough? No. But he was the most consistent and reliable wide receiver we had. And yes, Wentz's security blanket is gone. However, Zach Ertz became his security blanket at the end of the season anyway. <sighs> However, I am sad because I didn't want J-Matt to get traded. I loved him. He's a great, great person. Like, one of my favorite players, actually, because he's just, like, work ethic off the charts. And um, he made plays. Did he make all the plays? No, he's not a star. Was he a very good number two? A very good slot wide receiver? Yes. So now we have to hope that Aguilar fucking steps up. Or catches up. Ha <laughs> ha. See what I did there? And um, Mac Hollins. Maybe he could be a, a nice revelation on the outside. And maybe in the slot sometimes. But um, I guess we got to let these young guys st step up. And where are we going to sign J-Matt after this season? Who knows? Like, I, don't, I don't think we were. But that's life. So now we got Ronald Darby. Um, number one wide uh, quarterback right there. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Fuller still gets cut or released or we still get the trade for him. Uh, get Kendricks out of here. I'm sorry, but he's never going to have any more value than he does right now. So, Darby, he runs a 4-3. He's covered the NFC East wide receivers. He'd be perfect in this scheme. That D-line is going to feast, which is only going to make things better for him. And now it could be him and Mills paired up, or, or, what I would prefer is Darby and Fuller with Mills in the slot. Robinson could go fuck off. You can sign Grimes. You still got C.J. Smith and Douglas. And then once fucking Sydney comes back, well... Somebody just going to be inactive or you're going to have seven quarterbacks. But, um, <sighs> Eagles fans, it's a good thing he's gone. Um, yes, Wentz loved him. Like, everybody loved J-Mad. He was a really great teammate, great football player. But we probably weren't going to bring him back this year, next year. So, and he gets to go to Buffalo with Shady and Zay Jones and Tarah Taylor. Um, he's going to be more of a focal point there. Will it help out their offense? Definitely. Will it help out Shady? Definitely. I know Shady's happy he's there. And you know what? Buffalo should have signed Macklin. They didn't get to have Macklin, Jones, Jordan, and Shady. But I digress. That's sorry. That's my number two team. It's my dad's team. Shady's there. So that's like my second team. Plus they're in the AFC. So it works out. But, um... I'm sad and happy at the same time. I mean, am I going to miss him? Yes. Yes. Like, life without J-Man? What? He's always going to be an eagle to me. Like, I hope he comes back and retires an eagle. Um, but I hope he has a great, great career with the Bills. Um, I wish him the best. And I wish everyone else in the NFC East the worst. Um... Terrell Pryor, Dez, and OBJ, you better watch the fuck out, because we got Ronald Darby, we got Douglas when he fucking comes to his own, and Sydney when he comes into his own, y'all gonna get fucked, Redskins, they losing people already, Cowboys, I don't even have to say much about y'all, <sighs> what y'all gonna do without Zeke? Remember all that? Yeah, Dak got Zeke, but y'all don't have no defense. You got half a D-line, and then you, <laughs> your secondary is all rookies, a bunch of young guys. Yeah, like two people who are already there. And then no Zeke. So y'all might get fucked up. And uh, I can't wait to see y'all in November. Um, I don't even give a fuck if Zeke is back. 
it's gonna be on and popping by then. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Ronald Darby. I mean, what can you say? He's, he's a great football player. He's young, cheap, huge amount of upside, and um, we needed that. We needed a cornerback, a number one starting cornerback, because our corners are trash. We needed it. So, <sighs> overall, it's a great trade. Um, it's good for both teams. McDermott's got fucking J-Matt. Um, we got Darby. Um, the motherfucker runs a 4-3, y'all. Like, come on. I can't wait to see him in preseason. And we play the Bills. Like, psh. And then the poor Dolphins. We're going to practice with them. And um, they got no Tannehill. They lost their linebacker, Jay Cutler. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all should have signed Cap. I'm just saying, because Cutler might get fucked up. Um, he out of retirement. Yeah, like, he's coming out of retirement talking about he don't need cardio. Y'all know y'all fucked up by signing an old quarterback who don't need cardio. I digress. It's not my team. So, until next practice, until next game. Oh, 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 oh. Let me talk about this game, though, right? The Packers. I loved what I saw from Wentz in that D-line. And um, Wentz was magic, like. Wentz to Holland, that pass, that catch, and that, that, that yak. You just see that stiffy? That motherfucker hit the stiff arm. He put stiff arm on 100. That shit was nice. And partially, like, part of me feels like that play right there was why they were like, all right, let's make the trade. Let's get Darby in here, send J-Man out, because Holland might be the real deal, y'all. I'm just saying. And then you got Treggs, you got Johnson and Aguilar. So we got we got to have these young guys step up. Derek Barnett, two sacks. That's what you want to see against second string. Because when he gets to the regular guys, I'm hoping for the same. Two sacks in preseason? First game? It don't matter who it was against. He's a rookie. Okay, y'all? He's a rookie. Y'all keep saying, oh, uh, fucking Cowboys fans talking about some, oh, well, my starting defensive line wasn't going against second and third stringers. Well, you know what? It's not his fucking fault that we're deep at D-line. But what I wanted to see was him dominating them, and he was. So that means that when he gets to the fucking starters, he's going to make an impact. <sighs> what else? Bryce Treggs. Stepping up, stepping up. Um... If he could, like, be consistent, then I wouldn't mind him being the sixth wide receiver. Um, the sixth wide receiver would be Alshon, Torrey, Aggie, Hollins, Johnson, and Trex. Or Ward and Trex, whatever. Um, but I like seeing that we have talent at wide receiver. Mike Grow is developing them very, very well. Um, the quarterbacks, Darby's going to help out. Um He's, he's definitely going to help out. Um, so I'm just excited. I'm ready for the next game. I'm ready for preseason to be over for the NFL regular season. I'm ready for fantasy football to start. By the way, if you don't have a fantasy football team and you're trying to play, I have a squad with open spots. It's called NFL Outlaws. Uh, hit me up if you want, like, the, the password and everything. I got that. But, um... I'm real big into fantasy football, guys. So, you see how passionate I am on this shit? That's how passionate I am about fantasy football, okay? I even do DraftKings to make that money. But anyway, I digress. I'm excited. Um, NFC East, y'all better watch out. Um, it's about to go down in the fucking DM, all right? Burging out.